Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. You don't deserve immortality, Mr. Dawson. What? What are you prattling on about? I don't believe I've ever met a man so bereft of empathy. You, sir, are despicable. No. Hey. So to start, I remembered. And wait, wait, which one? I killed everybody but Swansea. Which I might do now, although I don't think he's there. Anyways. Those bastards. What have they done to Edgar? They better not have come to him before I did. Looks like he's wounded. I better follow the blood. Oh no, they threw him off the roof. Now I'll never get to him. We have an elevator? When did we get this? What have you been hiding from me, Swansea? Just because I hide everything from you doesn't mean you can hide it from me. We have an attic? Why don't I know these things? Why does that hurt? It doesn't hurt before. Ultraviolet curtains and Ori Kelvin powder. Oh. Dr. Swansea's always been a resourceful bastard. I bet he never told you he had this installed in case of a vampire attack. I didn't even know we had an attic. How much he trusts you. What have you done with Edgar? Don't worry. We don't kill humans. Even if your friend is deserving of a little punishment for what what are you talking about? We know everything. Swansea and you created this bloody epidemic. You aim to unleash another disaster just like William Marshall did. No. No, with the skulls. Put an end to it. Just like you are. Kill him. Progeny, aren't you? Oh yeah, that reminds me. I, I couldn't go back and kill the skulls. I have no idea what you're talking about. I tried. Jeffrey, please listen to me. No tricks. That shit won't work on me. We found proof in the theater. Doris Fletcher was your first experiment. Now where is Marshall? Speak! Who the hell's Marshall? Uh, uh. <laughs> so much for modern technology. Time for the tried and true. I've grown more powerful than you, you could possibly imagine. Least. This is a drop of King Arthur's blood, the blood of a true defender of Britain, stronger than your evil powers. You underestimate my power. This is ridiculous. We're losing precious time. True enough. Soon I'll bring your head before your coward of a father. True light will cleanse you. <laughs> The blood of a true defender of this land will protect me. Bang. That's what I get for killing everyone. Prewin shall prevail. You can't accept the fact we're not enemies. You are a failure. And you will die one. And we always will be. Of all the evils that threaten mankind. Your kind are the worst. You know what? Maybe I am a monster. Right. But maybe they that's what I want to be. No maybe that's what this world needs. But that's not all I am. You're nothing but a corpse. I'm putting people out of their misery. Don't try and I'm helping them. There is no way you'll ever let me be, McCullough. You'll always hunt I'm them. healing the world. There is no escape, Leech. Kill me now. For there is no way you can sway me to your ideals. Well, now I'm definitely going to. That's where you're 
mistaken. What do you mean? You will join me, whether you want to or not. No! Kill me! When I kissed my uh, poor man uh, goodbye, uh, I had no idea what I was doing. But now I do. Consider this my kiss of Judas. Wah. 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 I don't think you had to spit in him. Wah. I will see you later, my young apprentice. Welcome to the world through the looking glass. Now to go rescue Swanji. Alright, where are we going? All the way over there. Uh, back to the, uh, I'll be back. So Prewin never left Doris's theater after they invaded. They must be holding Edgar here in their new headquarters. Hello, I'm here. Hi. It's not evil you need to fear. Over there. I might be a little overpowered. I got a lot of blood from killing people. Uh, blood is XP in this game. I don't know if I cut that out or not. Where am I going? Wait. I don't have any markers here right now. Where am I going? One eternity later. I'm getting close to having there, there was a book on this table. Right in the middle of Yeah. Apparently there was a key there too. I can't go through there. I gotta go around. Hi! Bye! I guess I'm going through this door. It's locked, all right. Damn it. Blood of a pure heart. Garlic. Blood of a king. I don't understand. Perhaps this is what McCullum drank. I had better keep that in mind. Well, I didn't help him. Edgar. Oh no. Edgar. He's into BDSM. This is the worst thing that could possibly happen. Is it really you? You missed. Easy. His head was right Easy. there. Save your strength. I'm getting you out of here. Don't try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. Punctured lung, broken ribs, internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Jeffrey McCollum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. He was convinced you and I were responsible for the Scal epidemic. I, I mean, never I guess I could have killed them. Fanatic would but... Dare to attack us in the open. What became of him? 
I put him in a somewhat delicate position. <laughs> an immortal. Really? Are you sure that was the wisest course of action? Don't worry. He'll but probably kill himself. The most intriguing part of his accusation was that you and I were the pawns of some ancient vampire. He didn't say that at all. Did he? Yes, they... Uh, they tortured me to make me confess the same nonsense. Edgar, as much as I would like to believe you, I have a few concerns that require clarity. That's not what I meant, but okay. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. You speak of him as if you know him. How is that? <gasps> Edgar was a vampire the whole time. I say I'm ready for another round of questions. These will be the last questions you ever get. Why would the guard of Prewin believe you and I created the vampire epidemic? Maybe due to our profession. Because I offered you shelter in my hospital. What can you tell me about William Marshall? Not much. History paints the story he was the greatest knight who ever lived. Amongst the immortals, he had a yet greater legend. Why is the guard of Prewen so obsessed with him? He was the only ancient vampire to escape the first great hunt launched by the guard of Prewen in 1854. They believe he's an evil creature plotting his return. Define evil. Why would he deserve such a... Race? That's a pretty loose term. I cannot say. The Brotherhood of St. Paul Stoll has next to no intelligence on him. All I know, you know, your brotherhood doesn't seem that great. to be the great. oldest of all the British vampires. While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCullum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Nothing at all. Do you know Doris Fletcher's real name? John Maverick. I'm afraid not. Her real name was Doris Jones. She was the daughter of Harriet Jones. What do you want me to say, Jonathan? Do you remember when we suspected Sean Hampton of killing Harriet Jones? Yes. The terrible episode that came as a shock to us all. Harriet Jones faked her own death. When I found her in the sewers, she confessed she wanted everybody to pay for what happened to her. That woman was extremely bitter, full of hatred and festering anger. And I didn't get to kill her. Doris Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. I know nothing about that. Miss Fletcher once came to visit the sick. That is all I know. No, Edgar, there is more. Doris Fletcher was Harriet Jones's daughter. They exhibited yes, we the established same symptoms. That. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have to do with us? Do you know where we are? Doris Fletcher's theater. This is where that hateful creature plotted to spread the epidemic across London. It was Harriet's fault the whole time. Fletcher once. I knew it. She visited the Pembroke Hospital. You say it was to see her mother. She seemed like such a sweet and graceful woman. My point exactly. The disease turned her into a bitter soul, driven by vengeance just like her mother, a symptom of all the infected patients. Certain diseases are known to produce similar effects. Rabies, for example. And rabies is not the devil at work. I don't believe in the devil. Come he can't on, take Edgar. me. Don't you see the pattern here? The epidemic? The link between Doris and Harriet? The suspicion of McCullum? How could I? I never saw Harriet Jones again after she fled the hospital. 
Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan, no diabolical plot. You did what? I tested the regenerating and healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet Jones. My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? Lady Ashbury's. While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my you research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time. How dare you judge me? Must I name the alarming list of your victims? Uh... We are both deceivers. But at least I know I'm a monster. You have worked beside me. You saw what I'm doing at Pembroke Hospital. Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy. But I am. Uh, I want to kill him or make him a vampire. Oh, he do as a vampire. Oh. Oh. Well, now I don't know. I'll show you mercy. This one time. Yes. Your death is imminent, Dr. Swansea. But I swear, it will be quick. Uh, uh, I already told you to call me Edgar. Am I no longer your friend? I believe you never have been, sir. You have <gasps> lied to me at every step and betrayed the trust of a woman I cherish. Uh -huh. Oh, well, we wouldn't go that far. Lady? Really? Well, I should have seen it coming, I suppose. May I add that I welcome this? The biting, I mean. You have your wish. Is it going to hurt? I always wondered if you... <laughs> nah, you'll be fine. Uh oh. Oh, okay. I thought the game was going to crash. Later, Swans. Ooh, wait. Can I loot you? No. Anything good in here? The book. Alright, see ya. I don't think I should talk to Lady Asbury. I don't think she's going to like me very much. But that's a problem for future me.